placed sixth overall and sixth for boys. I feel very happy and I was excited to hear that I placed something that I never thought it would be possible for me because there were challenges this year and, and last year and when I started grade six there were troubling times and and I didn't really feel up to it at points. I navigated it by doing my best, studying my work very hard and <laughs> always remembering that I have God on my side. I am truly overjoyed. Um, I know that Joshua has the ability because since he has entered um, primary school, his average is always in the 90s. So I expected great things for my son. This is Mother Hen right here. She's always here. She's always in, up in his business, looking at his work, looking through the tests, making up tests for herself, for her son. I'm always there finding help where I can't help. I find help for him. So Mother Hen has always been here to be with her child because she knows the ability that he has, yes. Parental involvement helps with the performance of the child at school. So if you look um, over the years to see those students who have excelled, you always see mommy or daddy at the side of the child, supporting the child, making sure that the child has what he or she needs to succeed. So parental involvement is extremely important. And those students we see lagging behind, mommy is missing, daddy is missing, they're not pushing the children enough. And I said the boys need the help a lot because boys are not programmed like girls. Boys need someone there to sometimes make up a schedule for them to ensure that they stick to the schedule and all of that. So that's what I did. I made a schedule and we stuck to that schedule, right? So parental involvement is extremely important. Just do your best, study a lot, but and, and put God first and always make sure you um, study your work, study your book, practice because because when you study in math it is all practice it is not always study you have to practice like in math and in language so study do your best and put God first I feel very happy and excited it's been doing a lot of past papers and other extra no extra lessons I experienced the challenges of having lots of schoolwork piling up. Because, like, even though the schoolwork is easy, when lots of easy schoolwork builds up, it becomes very hard. Well, it was kind of, um, you know, a little on edge at times because as parents, we would see them and think, like, for him, um, he's not putting in enough time because I, sometimes you see he wants to play and do all these things. but. It, it worked out in the end where, you know, and this is something that we had realized that if he doesn't have a little bit of time to relax and play, he doesn't study and do as well, right? So it's all about sometimes for him to be happy and, you know, still put in the time to prepare. And as we see, the, the result is very um, rewarding. Um, well, he's always been good in class, right? And I would say, and this is a, a prop to him that when exam time comes around, he always delivers. You know, even when we think he's not prepared, when the results come back, he's always there. You know, um, so to say I, think, I thought he would be at the top, the answer is yes, right? I know for sure he would have been at least in the top 50 is what I was saying. So, you know, to be second place, of course, that's something we're very excited about. They should listen to the, the teachers and try to find a way to balance their time. I teach grade six language arts. And um, we're really proud of our students. We have 100% passes, and we're so happy for all of our students. We have Cole Innes and Joshua Graves in the top 10, and we're really happy. Diligent boys who have been working all year. Like I said, Cole is very diligent, so is Joshua. They are well put together. They take work seriously and they 
have a good command of the English language so it was easy to teach them they also know what they're about what they wanted to do what they wanted to achieve so they set their goals and they worked assiduously to achieve them so this belongs to them and all glory belongs to God when you have students who are always ready to work it's it makes life easier